Like, look at that. I couldn't do that with the old mag. Look at that. The five on screen, dude. 27. 28. 29. I need one more. No! I died on the 29! Azir Cave, one of the worst maps in the game, and we're playing it. Today I decided to use the AK, I'm using this nice little, you know, pink variant, I don't freaking know. But we're using the AK because I haven't used it yet, and I want to try to get a nuke with it, as well as just telling you guys a cool story from last night. So as you guys might know, I am a police officer, and we've had a bunch of snow and ice uh, where I work the last couple days. Oh, you're not going to get me. We've had a bunch of snow and ice the last couple days, and it's just called some pretty bad wrecks. And uh, last night was a pretty good one. So no one was injured, no one was hurt, but uh, basically this guy was driving and he hit the guardrail on a turn and his car went straight, like head on into a, a light pole. Holy shit. Oh my, what was that? Oh, man. See, as I was saying, we had a bunch of ice and snow the last couple days, and, uh... Did I just turn into a Minecraft block? What? He disintegrated me! This guy hit a guardrail and then swerved into a uh, light pole and hit it head on. It was pretty gnarly, but when I got there, there was literally no one there. And I was like, okay, this guy either fled because, you know, he was drunk or he just didn't have, you know, license. He might have been illegal or something. Just the whole front end just got caved in and shit. Like it was, it, it looked pretty bad. It looked like he was hurt, but uh, apparently not. So while I was digging through the car, two people walked up, a guy and a girl, and they were like, hey, this is my friend's car. He called us because uh, he said he wrecked and he wanted us to come, you know, get a towed and stuff. And I was like, okay, all right. So uh, why did he leave? I was convinced that he was either drunk or he just didn't have any like driver's license and he was just afraid. And they're like, I don't know why he left, but uh, he uh, just called us, wanted us to come get the car for him. So I was like, all right, uh, do you have his phone number so I can call him? And the guy ended up giving me his phone number and I gave the dude a call. So I call up the driver, he answers, and uh, it's a Hispanic guy, and he's he speaks English, but uh, you, you can tell he's got a really bad accent. He basically says that he wrecked the car because of the icing conditions, and he doesn't have driver's license, insurance, anything, so he just kind of fled. And I explained to him that, you know, in my state that I work in, we don't arrest people for not driving with a uh, driver's license or insurance. And I'm sure a lot of people don't really understand the laws, think that every time something happens that they go to jail. But literally, this was just an accident. The guy wasn't drunk, according to him. Like, he wasn't doing anything besides he just slid on the ice and crashed his car. So if you guys ever get in a wreck, even if you hit someone else, don't leave the scene because it just makes it 10 times worse. The majority of the time, you're not going to go to jail for getting in a wreck unless you are drinking and driving or just under the influence of something i asked for like his you know name and information like where he's at so i can you know do complete a report for it and uh he just wouldn't give anything to me he just told me he he crashed and he left that guy's probably never getting his car back and it's totaled anyways but you know if he had insurance he could at least get the insurance claim but yeah guys more of the story if you get in a wreck do not leave the scene because it's only gonna make it worse even if you're drunk driving. I got Ramaza, and this is not really one of my favorite maps, but uh, it's one of the only maps that I've found searching three playlists, so we're gonna play it. I'm actually gonna focus up and try to get the nuke this game.
Holy shit. Oh my god, the 26. Twenty-eight. Please don't die here. Woo, that was too close for comfort, man. There it is. I got the fucking nuke. <laughs> yes, dude. MP5 slash AK nuke. I'll take it. Let's go, man. First nuke of the AK. Tactical freaking nuke, baby. Let's go. All right, guys, we got a hard point crash, and I think we're going to go for the sniping nuke this game because we already got the AK. I might as well go for the nuke with the sniper. Haven't done it before. The game's halfway done. What the hell? What? 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 Lag! Lag! It's my E advantage turning on. Let's go. Eventually, I'm going to get the sniping new for a video, but I don't know if it's going to be this game because it's already halfway over. Uh, hopefully, I can get a clip of them. Two headshots. Not today, son. Can't tell where I'm getting shot from. Hello? Hello. Damn, I don't know where to go. Oof. Just spawn right in front of me. Oh shit. Dude, I'm glued to the screen right now. Twenty two. Hello. 26. Oof. Point on, one off, one off, one off. There it is. That's the nuke, baby. The fucking AK-47 nuke. Let's go. Woo! That's what I'm fucking talking about. This is the class setup for the nuke that I just got. We got the uh, Spetsnaz Elite Barrel, the uh, Laser Sight, uh, Mark IV Grip, Simple Grip Tape, and Slate of Hand. I really didn't even have any much attachments for this gun. I, I kind of just, you know, threw it all together just to get a quick nuke, but uh, that's, that's the class setup.